Hi, my name is Robert Russiniello, and today we're going to cover creating database queries in Excel to extract information from Mass directly into Excel. I get this request a lot from clients who sometimes create reports in Crystal and eventually export that information into Excel and I actually create a database query for them explaining that we can have the information reside in Excel for them as opposed to creating a crystal report and ex eventually exporting that information. In Excel there's a tab called data. In that data tab you're going to go to the get external data section. From there you can go to from other sources very last item is from Microsoft Query. When we click on that, we're going to have several data sources. Now the data source that connects to Mass is going to be called SodaMass90. You can either double click on it or hit the OK button. You're going to want to log in to the company of choice. In our case, we're going to log into the ABC company. We're going to use our mass credentials. Right now we've established a connection to mass. So in today's session we're going to walk through exporting information from the AP vendor table. Now if you notice on our left hand side these are all the tables in mass. So the information that I want to pull over is housed in the AP underscore vendor table. Now if I click on the plus button, in the AP vendor table we're going to have several fields. If we choose, we can bring over the whole table in its entirety by clicking on the table name and you're going to find all of the fields in that table have now, have now been brought over. Now, if I choose not to bring over all of the information in that table, I can choose to bring pieces of information to that table. Let's say I wanted to bring over the division number, the vendor number, vendor name, address line 1, 2, and 3, city, state, zip, country code. I'm going to skip the contact and I'm going to bring the telephone number. So you can see how I can pick and choose different fields in that table that I'm interested in seeing in Excel. Now I'm going to go back and we're going to choose the table in its entirety. I'm going to hit the next button. Now, if I choose at this point to filter my data, I can. I could certainly say, uh, show me all vendors that begin with the letter A. Or I can query dates beginning from a certain date. So we can throw in filters to our query at this area. I'm going to again choose to bring all of the information from my vendor table. I can certainly sort the information at this point. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to choose to return data to Excel. Now my options here are to create a or to import the data into a table into a pivot table report or pivot chart and pivot table report. I'm going to choose to export the information directly into Excel as a table. And I'm going to bring it into cell A1 and hit OK. Now when we create our, our database query, it does ask us this second time to log into our mass company. And here we go. We now have a connection established to mass and you'll see that we brought out the contents of our AP underscore vendor table into Excel. 
Now it's wonderful because in Excel 2007 um, with our data in table form we can choose to sort and our table will automatically sort. We could certainly filter at this point. So I chose to bring in all the information into Excel and then have it sort locally. Now at this point I can hit File, Save. I could save this document. as an Excel document on my desktop. Now the next time I come in, I have my Excel document called AP Vendor that I just saved. When I open this document, it's saved using the information from the last time I ran my query. Now to refresh the data with the most current information housed in mass, all I have to do is right click anywhere in this table, hit the refresh button, and log into my company code using my mass credentials. And my data is now refreshed. This concludes lesson one of how to create and manage database queries.